boys and girls and my dear teachers i am sheikh mahub basha welcome to my channel happy learning this topic is prism this is a prism this one angle of the prism bc is the base of the prism abc ab is one of the refracting surfaces ac is the second refracting surface this is a laser pen a ray is made to incident on the first refracting surface ab pq is the incident ray this would be the path of the incident ray in the absence of the prism draw a normal at q observe this angle the angle between the incident ray and the normal is called angle of incidence it is denoted by i1 this one refracted ray the angle between the refracted ray and the normal is called first angle of refraction it is denoted by r1 here the ray is traveling from a rarer medium to a denser medium hence it bends towards the normal the angle of refraction r1 is less than the angle of incidence i1 so this is normal to the second refracting surface the angle between the refracted ray and the normal is called second angle of refraction it is denoted by r2 and this is the emergent ray and this is angle of emergence the angle between the emergent ray and the normal is called angle of emergence it is denoted by i2 now the ray is traveling from a denser medium to a rarer medium hence it bends away from the normal the angle of emergence i2 is greater than the angle of refraction r2 if you extend the incident ray and emergent ray they meet at a point u the angle between the incident ray and the emergent ray is called angle of deviation it is denoted by d this is incident ray and this one is emergent ray slowly increase the angle of incidence at the first refracting surface angle of deviation decreases and reaches a minimum the angle of deviation first decreases with the increase of angle of incidence and reaches a minimum it is called angle of minimum deviation and is denoted by capital d on further increasing of angle of incidence you will observe the angle of deviation increases after minimum deviation the angle of deviation d increases with increase of angle of incidence during angle of minimum deviation 
the ray inside the prism will be parallel to the base angle of incidence and angle of emergence are equal that is i1 equal to i2 the two refracting angles are also equal that is r1 is equal to r2 the refractive index of the prism is given by n is equal to sin of a plus d by 2 by sin a by 2 recapitulation point 1 the angle between the incident ray and the emergent ray is called angle of deviation it is denoted by letter small d point 2 the angle of deviation first decreases with increase of angle of incidence and reaches a minimum it is called angle of minimum deviation and is denoted by letter capital D after minimum deviation the angle of deviation increases with increase of angle of incidence point 4 during angle of minimum deviation the ray inside the prism will be parallel to the base hence angle of incidence and angle of emergence becomes equal that is i1 equal to i2 and the angles of refraction are also equal that is r1 is equal to r2 point 5 the refractive index of the prism is given by n is equal to sin of a plus d by 2 by sin a by 2 Please give a thumb up and subscribe my channel. Don't forget to press the bell icon.